What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to talk about the 5 best tricks that help me win more games in Apex Legends. If they help you, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. So yeah, let's get right into it. Trick number one that helped me improve my gameplay and win more games is movement. Movement plays a huge role in Apex Legends. Movement helps you dodge bullets, get the better position, um, flank the enemy, yeah, it, c it can do a lot for you. So m what I like to do is like if I have the low ground, I like to go up a different way to get the high ground. If uh, if me and them are in the same building, I like to move around in the building. I like to go from door to door to play with them and then kind of take them from a different angle and get a better shot on them or take them from a window or, you know, get the better position on them. If you can do that, if you can flank them, you can throw them off guard, better angle, better position, you will most likely put them in a position to make a bad choice, and if they do that, either you or your teammates can take them out, and yeah, so get the better position, get the better angle, movement is key. Second trick that helped me a lot in Apex Legends to win more games was trying to get them to separate, trying to get them to three different 1v1s or two different 1v1s. If you play duos, get them into two different 1v1s and take them on like that. If you play trios, do three 1v1s and take them out like that. But remember, finish your kills. If you don't finish your kills, they may have a chance to revive them or they might have self-res. You never know. The loot nowadays is crazy. And if you can get them to two different 1v1s or three different 1v1s, depending on what you're playing in duos, uh, trios, uh, you can you and your team can take them out one by one, and you can take them by player by player, squad by squad, and then soon you will be in the top three, and then you can do that with the top three. And you'll be surprised on how much more efficient your games will be with this technique. It helped me a lot, and it may help you. You never know. Try it and uh, comment down below if it actually helps you. The third trick that really helped me win more games in Season 5 was third party a fight after it's over. Now, people say third party a fight in mid gunfight. So you'll be surprised on how much you actually get shot at in third parties. Uh, people will actually shoot at you more than the teammate that you were hoping to third party. So actually, what I found really efficient was wait till the third party is over you'll, and you'll know when it is over because you'll hear gunfire stop getting shot or it'll get really quiet and then you can go check and if they're looting that's when I like to attack them because they're not paying attention they're looting and they don't think anyone's around so take them on like that so like take the take them when they're looting take them when they least expect it is when they're looting and do it right as they start looting not when they're almost done because then they'll be all full health full shields and you may you will have a 50 50 chance of getting out of that alive um but i like to take them as they're looting so i can actually kill them all and it helped me a lot because i could actually take them like three on ones two on ones a lot easier when they're looting see when they're looting they're paying attention what they grab and how much uh meds they have how much ammo how much grenades like they're not paying attention to oncoming enemies uh, they think like because they don't hear footsteps their surroundings are gone But if you crouch they'll have a low chance of hearing you and then you kind of take them on like that because They'll they won't expect you crouching that far just to get to them So kind of take them while they're looting and then kill them take them one by one like I said before one-on-ones or Two-on-ones is what I like to do um, if I do three on ones, I will have a little harder time of actually getting the kills because they're a lot more together. But one on ones is probably the best way to go because you will have more chance of living and getting out of that fight alive. So take the one on ones and take them on the looting. Trust me, it will work. The fourth tip is play with people that you know. Play with people like family members, friends, because you know what they're good at and what they're bad at, and you guys can kind of just fill in each other's like places, like what they're not good at, you do, or what you're not good at, they do. The fifth and final tip, you guys, is communication. Communicate with your teammates, and you will be surprised on how much better you will get. You can communicate by pinning enemies, by saying where you're gonna go loot, by pinning where you're gonna go, and make sure you're always near each other so if you guys get too split apart that's when they can kinda come in and take you one by one like I said earlier don't let them take you one by one it's insane how much that happens 
when you do not communicate with your teammates like if they don't follow you then follow them like stay together it's insane how much communication can achieve in this game